know, I, I actually, I had in my mind when I, when I came that I would say at the beginning of the night, every, the free world knows my opinion of Vince Russo, and unless somebody asks me a question that I can tell an untold story or something that hadn't been gone over in some way that makes Russo look even more like a jack-off than he already is, that I would not knock him. But here's the thing. It, 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 Sean Oliver, I did the, the, the kayfabe commentaries, and he asked me, he said, well, it can't just be wrestling. There has to be something else. There can't be that, that level of vehemence and fucking hatred over just wrestling. And I said, yes, yes, there can. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's nothing else. I mean, you know, we couldn't be more opposite. He's from New York. I'm from Kentucky. He's a writer. I'm a booker. Uh, we, we, we have nothing in common. We couldn't be more opposite unless one of, them was a bla- one of us was a black lesbian nun, right? It's the only way we could be further apart. But it is personal with me because not only I, I grew up just like you guys. You wouldn't be here if you didn't love professional wrestling. You weren't wrestling fans. I've been a wrestling fan. Then I was lucky enough to get in the business. I was lucky enough to make a very good living in the business and work with legends. I've been in the ring wrestling against Dusty Rhodes and superstar Billy Graham. And I've, I've appeared on cards with Andre the Giant. And then I was lucky enough to be a matchmaker and a booker. And I was lucky enough to do all these different things. And I see a guy come along that he claims he was a wrestling fan, but he was never a wrest- He watched wrestling in New York when he was a kid, and all he remembers is when Piper smashed the coconut on Jimmy Snuka. He doesn't remember the buildup or the fucking... The, the, what happened after. He just remembered angles. He's got ADD. He has, he has attention deficit disorder. He's like a junkie with a fucking clicker on the morphine drip. It's always got to be more, more, now, now. He just remembers flashes of shit. He never respected the wrestling business. He never respected the people in it. He never respected the people that liked it. He looked at me one time like I had fucking steaming fucking turds hanging out of my mouth. When I told him that you think that people never believed this shit was real? Why the fuck would they believe it's real? It's obviously all been bullshit. I said, maybe the shit you were watching was always bullshit, but that's why down south we try to make people believe it. And I'm sorry, but I, like I said earlier, I've had 100 people at least in my career willingly go to jail for taking a swing at me or connecting on me in front of cops just because they were so mad at me. Does that make me a phony? No, it makes me real good at what I fucking do to piss them off that bad. And he, he fucking, he disrespected every single one of you and everybody that watches wrestling by not taking it as seriously as I do, by not taking it as seriously as so many other people have. He's shitting all your fucking faces. He fucking ruined careers with his stupid fucking gimmicks and the goddamn shit that he made guys do to the point where they were run out of the fucking wrestling business because people would rather see goddamn their mother hooked up to a machine than see these guys again after the stupid shit he made them fucking do. And that's why I resent him. That's why I resent his involvement in our fucking business and making it a bunch of fucking bullshit in a lot of people's eyes Wrestling already had somewhat of a bad reputation, and the people in it sometimes have not done it any favors by their outside-the-ring activities or what the publicity they got. But Vince Russo basically took wrestling and, and made it completely unbelievable and made a joke out of it and shit on you guys and shit on us and shit on everybody that's actually gotten the ring and taken a fucking bump and gotten the ring and done anything fucking physical because... As Bill Watts would say, if he was ever fucking caught in a men's locker room, he'd be whistling Stranger in Paradise. And it, it just, it makes me fucking ill that, that this guy has managed to fucking get a goddamn living for whatever time he's been out of the wrestling business, and he doesn't respect it, and he doesn't believe in it, and he never fucking, he just, he got a gimme, because Vince McMahon woke up on the side of the bed one morning and said, ah, oh, we're fucking up, I'm going to do what this guy says because it's different. And, and the, I'm sorry, but as Jerry Jarrett said, he considers success in pro wrestling as not a hot run, but longevity. And as far as longevity, Vince Russo ain't done shit. He had the fucking two top box office attractions of the modern generation on a roster with a network quality television production and the greatest announcer of all time and unlimited funding behind him. And he was hot for two years, and he's been trying to recreate that ever since. He put WCW... Well... 
Everybody had a finger in that old whore, but he helped put WCW out of business. He never did shit for fucking TNA. He got guys over instead of under, and he's been home more than he's been fucking working uh, since then. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a flash in a fucking pan, and he deserves to goddamn stay home. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs>